hi guys welcome to PCT Stro. in this video today I'm gonna show you how you can upload your website content to your hosting your cPanel hosting account make sure you have the cPanel hosting and your website is developed up and ready to upload in the cPanel hosting with the hostinger so this is the video especially for those guys who just want to upload their website content in their hostinger account uh, with the cPanel hosting so let me proceed further to show you how you can upload your, upload your website content so first you can go on the Google type hostinger if you are in India type hostinger.in and if you are in uh, US or in other country type hostinger.com or if you have the purchase hosting uh, hosting account with uh, Indian server then you will have to log in into uh, the account with dot in now the website is up uh, right now as you can see I will go ahead and click on this login option and guys hosting uh, is running the discount offer for this time you can avail up to 91% discount if you go and purchase the hosting plan with them uh, you can use my referral code I will mention the link in the description and I will mention the coupon code so here now I will go ahead and log in with my account as you can see I'm going to fill, fill in the details here this is the PCT Stro I have account with Hostinger so first make sure you log in into your account and then follow the instructions step wise which I am showing here so that you can easily go ahead and upload your website content so I was saying that uh, you can avail up to 91% of discount if you go and buy the hosting plan with Hostinger.com you can use the uh, coupon code of PCT Pro I will mention that in the description so you can see I have hosting and uh, a domain with uh, hostinger so previously I have already explained how you can set up your hosting and domain with your hostinger uh, newly bought the account now here I will go ahead and just simply show how you can go ahead and upload your website content so make sure once your hosting will come up there you need to click on the manage option it will redirect you to the hosting account as you can see here now now I'm in the C panel of the hostinger.com here there are several options coming up from the top you can see the account details change passwords set main domain there are a lot of the options will come up but when you scroll down to the very uh, middle you can see there is an option coming up file manager so click on this file manager the file manager is the place where we will go ahead and upload the website content so make sure you have set up your hosting account if you have got with the hostinger otherwise you will have to set it up first so you can watch my other video I have already uh, uploaded in my channel now here you can see when I go to the file manager it's giving me two different option at the three different option at the left side which is domain public underscore HTML so I will click on this public underscore HTML and here this is the place where I can upload my website content or I can simply go to the domains and here you can see pctipsstore.net coming up I can open this and I will go ahead and open this public underscore HTML and I will upload my website I can upload my website content here also now this is the place where the website content need to be uploaded now how to upload when you when you are in the directory of your uh, hosting uh, account which is hosting account 
on the top you can see there are several options coming up to upload a new file or to upload a new folder so I will go ahead and click on this new files option it will ask to create so I don't want to create I want to upload the file which I already have created so there is another option coming up upload file here so I will just go ahead and click on this now it will ask you to select the file so I will select the files I will click on that part now here in the downloads you can see I have a website already developed with the name of PC Tips Pro so you can go to the respective folder where you have uploaded where you have your website content and you can select from there there now you can see these all are my website content so in order to upload the files I will just go ahead and select all of them one by one and we'll go ahead and click on this open now you can see about dot html contact dot html index dot html services dot html okay now first of all before going ahead and upload the website content if I go and show you the website nothing is coming up there which is PC tips pro dot net so you will see the website is completely blank there is no any content you can see it's it's opening up the default page that your website has been created there is nothing here but once I select all these files and we'll go ahead and click on this upload now you can see it's uploaded here it's uploading up to 100 percent now as you can see I have now about contact uh, index and uh, service.html so as the website content is uploaded already so I don't need this default.php anymore so I will select this and I will go ahead and press on delete and I will delete this default.html or default.php from there now if I go ahead and refresh this page uh, refresh my website now you can see it's coming up with the content which I have uploaded but make sure I have not uploaded uh, my CSS files this is the reason it's coming up uh, with just a font format as you can see it's looking very normal now the next step would be to go ahead and upload the files the CSS files now you can see when I go to upload a uh, download and I will open this you can see it's coming up with the assets so I still need to upload these folders in my hosting account so what will I do I will go back to my hosting account and will click on this new folder and my new folder name was is assets so I will make sure that uh, I don't make any mistake I'm just making I'm copying the name from here and simply simply going back to the hosting account and I did pasted the same name here and click on this create now you can see the asset folder assets folder is created in the hosting account and I will open that one now here again I can go ahead and upload all the files uh, the respected files from uh, the PC tips pro folder so I will just simply go ahead and click on this upload files again and uh, select the files if it does not allow to select the folders I'm trying with the folders if it does not allow no so make sure it's not allowing me to upload the folder directly so I will just simply go ahead and uh, again create the respective folders so one folder I have under the assets with the name of CSS so I will just copy the CSS from here and I will create a folder with the name of CSS and I will create that and the same way there are 
three more folders one the second one is with the name of fonts so I will copy the name of the folder from here and I will create the folder with the same name in my hosting account again I will go back to my main folder where I have my website and I will copy the name from here and will again create the folder with the same name in my hosting account and the last one I have is with the JS which is JavaScript why I am copying in the paste see I can manually type the names here but I'm just showing you here that you should not do any mistake that's why I'm just copying the name from there and pasting here now you can see I have CSS fonts images and the JS under this assets folder and the same way I had in the assets folder these four folders now so here I will open the CSS in the same way I will open the CSS from here and I will upload that CSS file in my CSS folder so we'll open the assets we'll open the CSS select the CSS file and press open and press upload now you can see uploading up to 97 percent and it's finished so the file is already uploaded in CSS now I will go to the fonts and again we'll click on this upload files select the files from the fonts so I'm going to open the fonts folder I will select every files which I have in the fonts folder and we'll click on this open now we'll scroll down and we'll click on this upload and you can see it's uploading all the files in fonts folder and it's 100 percent done now we'll go to the next which is images and again we'll click on this upload files and we'll click on this select files now I will go ahead and open the images folder and we'll select every images and press open now you can see every images are coming up here so we'll go ahead and simply click on upload now it's uploading every images one by one as you can see here images normally has high memory so it might take some time to upload everything every files as you can see it's doing quickly wow okay so now all the images are already uploaded now I will open this JS folder from left and again we'll go ahead and click on this upload files and we'll go ahead and select the files from the JS folder which is JavaScript and select all and press open and press upload now it's doing the it's uploading here as you can see now make sure every file every content which I had I, I developed in my website that are uploaded to my hosting account I can go back to the public underscore HTML and we'll go ahead we can verify as you can see all the respective folders all the required folders and the files are in my hosting account so if I go ahead and refresh this page the website will come up properly as you can see it's just a demo website there are a lot of the work need to be done on this demo website I was just showing that how you can upload your website content to the hosting account now guys if you want more uh, details if you want more knowledge about how to make the website how to create a website uh, using HTML CSS subscribe the channel and we'll be there to guide you and guys if you want to order us any website you can simply write in the comment or you can contact us through our email 
Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please subscribe and support our channel.